Number 63. Suppose water is raised by capillary action to a height of 5 centimeters in a glass tube. To what height will it be raised in a paraffin tube of the same radius? All right, so let's take a look at letter A. So basically we're talking about heights and capillary actions, right? We, we realize that the formula that relates these items is going to be down here on the bottom right. The formula says that the height of a certain fluid inside of a tube based on capillary action will be equal to 2 multiplied by the surface tension of the fluid multiplied by the cosine of what's called the contact angle divided then by the density of the fluid times gravity and then multiplied by the radius of the tube. Now what's important here is they didn't give us really a, a lot of information. Now we are trying to basically take information about the height of water in a glass tube and relate that to now the height of water in a paraffin tube. So anytime we're doing these kind of comparisons, I like to think in terms of proportions. Now we can create a nice proportion out of this. Now notice, no matter what, whether the, uh, whether the water is in a glass tube, right? whether this thing is glass here, or whether this is paraffin, the surface tension of the water hasn't changed. The density hasn't changed. The gravity hasn't changed. The radius hasn't changed, right? The two hasn't changed. <laughs> the only thing that's changed is the contact angle and the height. So these two things are basically when I'm creating a proportion. The only two things that are changing in my problem are going to be the contact angle and the height. What that basically means is that all of this other stuff is basically irrelevant. And what I can do to set up my proportion here is I could say that the height obtained um, in the glass tube relative to the height obtained, let's say, in a paraffin tube should be equal to then the cosine of the contact angle in the glass tube divided by the cosine of the contact angle in the paraffin tube. Now, this is, this is totally fine to do. There's no problem. I can show a more technical division here about how the units actually cancel, but it just gets too busy. Just notice that all these things will be the same, right? So they're all going to cancel out eventually. So here we have our nice equation. Now we're trying to find the height in a paraffin tube. So why don't we solve this for H sub P, right? Basically, all we got to do, right, if we just think about moving this around, move this over to here, move this across, and this across, right? And look, look at how easy that is, the algebra, right? That's it. There's the formula, okay? So I can just erase this division sign. Put a little parenthesis around this thing if I wanted to make it look nice, right? And voila, here it is. So now I can plug it in, right? The cosine of the contact angle for the paraffin tube, it's in the thing over here, 107 degrees. So cosine of 107 multiplied then by the height in the glass tube. Now we can leave this in terms of centimeters. That's fine, all right? Uh, just because you know that these degrees, they're, they're unitless, all right? First, you're taking a degree, dividing it by a degree, it's unitless. So it's just a simple ratio. So you can leave this in terms of centimeters. If you felt uncomfortable, by all means, convert into meters. Your answer will just be in meters. It doesn't matter. So then the cosine of the contact angle for that of glass was zero degrees. And now all I have to do is plug this on into my calculator to find the, context, to find the height reached in a paraffin tube. So cosine of 107 times 5 and divide by cosine zero, that's just one. So here we have a negative number, right? So negative 1.46, and that's in centimeters. So you might say negative, what the heck does that even mean? You know, if you had a, if you had a certain, um, pretend you had a certain tub, right, of water, okay? And this whole thing is filled up, this whole thing is filled up with, uh, I guess, yellow water. And let's say you put a tube in it. Actually, you know what? Let me do this first. Let's put the tube in it. Okay, here's your tube. And we'll leave a little room at the bottom for the water to move up it. Okay, if it does. What's going to happen in terms, of, in terms of if this tube is made out of glass, this is what it looks like. The water's filled up to, let's say, this level. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll draw a nice little line. The water's filled up to this level inside of the... Um, inside of the bin there, and then the water inside of the tube goes higher, okay? So this is the distribution of water inside of this thing. Notice how the height here would be considered positive. This would be a, this would be a positive height. Now, if it were paraffin, the opposite would happen, okay? For example, if this were my water level height, then inside the tube, it would actually be below the height outside of the paraffin tube.
So this difference between these two lines, this line here, and then this overall line at the top, this is now a negative height, okay? So this is now a negative height. So that's all it means. It means that it's just gonna lie below the level of the water in the bin. Anyway, that takes care of letter A. Letter B, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's use the same formula over here. It says that right in a silver tube of the same radius, so now we just gotta do water and silver. So we have the height of a column in silver should be equal to the height of that in glass multiplied then by cosine of the contact angle in silver all divided by cosine of the contact angle in glass. And now we can just plug in the values, right? So it's five centimeters multiplied by cosine now of 90 degrees because that's the value in silver, water and silver. We know the cosine of 90 is zero, cosine then of zero degrees is one, so this whole thing just works out to be zero, okay? So the height that the uh, water will obtain in the silver tube is zero centimeters, meaning it doesn't go up or down, it's just literally at the same level up here, okay? It's just at the same level. All right, guys, hope this helped. Give us a hand, please remember to subscribe. Hit that like button if it helped too, that'd be awesome, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.